When you bear in mind concepts like the uh, infamous red button where you push one button and everybody, willingly or not, uh, suddenly has their sentience ended, boom, immediately, um, you get the impression that some people um, believe, some people, I won't talk about um, antinatalism as a whole, but some people seem to believe that uh, anyone who disagrees with them is simply wrong and their objections are to be overridden for their own good. Um, you hear that in other ways, in other arguments that are put forward where um, uh, people who are called pro-natalists or natalists or whatever you want to call them are denounced as the worst kind of torture imaginable. Uh, now, if you, if you take that kind of position <clears throat> that you don't really, that other people's objections aren't really all that important. Um, you do end up actually in the territory of totalitarianism, whether you want to be there or not. We won't listen to anyone else's objections because we know better than they do, or we don't believe their sincerity in objecting to us. Therefore, whatever objections they come up to, come up with, can be morally, um, Overridden, They can be safely overridden because we are right, they are wrong, and possibly they are actually dishonest. Um, from the point of view of an anti-natalist sort of public policy, I get the impression that the Benetarian school uh, seems to hold that the end justifies the means. Do you think that Benatar in particular says that? Thank you.